Very few people have spoken to this woman. Do we even know she looks like this? Debatable. Some people have spoken to her on Skype. This image could have been taken 20 years ago, for all I know. This is supposedly the cult leader, Elizabeth Elijah Nikumaya, who claims to be one of the witnesses that saw the death and resurrection of Christ. And apparently the two witnesses were ascended to heaven after Jesus so she claims to be that interestingly she also claims to be the bride of Christ also claims to be a end times prophetess and she draws people away from the religious teachings and because she never shows herself on webcam we don't even know if this is her face. She could be anyone. This image could simply have been ripped off from someone else. This could be anyone, couldn't it? Unless we know. So come on, Lizzie. Elizabeth Elijah Nicomaya. Your made-up name. Come on, webcam. Film yourself with your camcorder. Give YouTube a proper message from the supposed true prophet of the end times. Cult leaders, they come and go. Elizabeth Elijah, well, she's the new kid on the block, isn't she? Sort of. There are a few who are still out there. You still have William Tapley claiming the end times are due and his predictions flop and flop again. You've had them doing it throughout the years, going back centuries, longer. Whenever there's been a group which has splintered off from any other religion, it's become a cult with a leader. And some of those leaders, some of those new founders of new religions and new sects, they think insanely that they're prophets or even God. And Elizabeth is simply the most recent or well, not even the most recent, one of the more recent cult leaders to materialise. You look into this kind of stuff, you'll find there are thousands around the world, and at the very least, hundreds of small and dangerous groups, like a mighty wind. It's a very common thing, very popular thing for various cult leaders, gurus, so-called prophets and prophetesses, to basically claim to have knowledge. Obviously, if they're going to call themselves a prophet or prophetess, what should come with that is, well, prophecy. Elizabeth Elijah Nikumaya claims to be a prophetess. She claims to have knowledge of the end times, of Nabooru, zombie apocalypse, and so much more. Oh, and if a prediction does not come true, it must have been interpreted wrong. And so she goes back to her old prophecies and adapts them. So instead of being in, oh, this year, oh, that failed, I'm going to go forward a few years. So I don't have to worry about it for at least a few more years. Really? And that's meant to validate you as an individual, as a spiritual leader, as a group leader? Your prophecies fail. You fail. And you cover that up, and yet you're still meant to be valid as a spiritual leader. Whatever you're in contact with, it's certainly not telling you the truth. You know the thing about doomsday cults? Very, very common. They focus on the doomsday and try and promote fear as method of control. At least most Christianity, most relating beliefs, tend to focus on the good message. Yeah, sure, this stuff may happen. At the very least, may happen, is the belief within Christianity. Most would say it will happen. But they don't try and say when it will happen. 
They don't try and say, oh, it will happen here, it will happen there. Because no man is meant to know the time and the hour, the time when it's meant to actually happen. And yet these quacks, these con men, tell people they know. Direct contradiction from the biblical belief, and of course people follow them. They focus so heavily on Revelation, these doomsday cults. I mean, that's why you can call them a doomsday cult. They're focusing so heavily on the book of Revelation, pointing out the various prophecies there, and nitpicking throughout the rest in order to fit the ideology set up by the leader. It's insane, isn't it? It is, by very definition, a doomsday cult. Because they focus so much on the end and sticking to the, well, their understanding of the Word of God so devoutly. And, of course, their understanding of the Word of God is it based upon a particular, very balanced view and interpretation or literal interpretation of the Bible? Well, no. It's based upon the selected ideas of the leader. A mighty wind is a conspiracy cult as well. They don't believe in vaccines. They believe it will do more harm. And God doesn't believe you should have vaccines. I don't know how they get that interpretation from the Bible. They get it from their leader, like so many of their conspiracy theory beliefs. They believe in an evil new world order run by a satanic Illuminati, which they cannot prove, but it fits their beliefs and encourages paranoia within their members. Therefore, they believe this. They assume a massive conspiracy to turn people evil, and they have no proof. It's all a matter of faith. They believe aliens working for the Illuminati or working with the Illuminati are going to invade the Earth. Because Elizabeth, Elijah, Nicomaya saw it in a dream, which was supposedly from God. And this is how it is with many of the prophecies, well, most of them really, came in a dream, given to Elizabeth, Elijah, Nicomaya. And we're meant to believe a person's dream is prophecy because, um, 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 um uh, what? They can't really answer. Oh, it's true. Why is it true? Because she's a prophetess. Well, so what? That means it's prophecy. How do you know it's uh, prophecy? Because she's given prophecy. How do you know she <laughs> she's the real deal? Because she's given prophecy. Well, how do you know it's a genuine prophecy? Because she's a prophetess. Uh. So she can say anything. Aliens, zombies, you name it. Now, I consider them talking about things like Harry Potter and how it's meant to be evil, to be just attention whoring. They're saying something is evil, so people watch their videos. They're there doing a religious video with the first tag for their videos on this topic being Harry Potter. What's going to be the result? Oh, their shitty, religious, bigoted, propaganda cult videos are going to be in the ranks around popular, well, films and reviews of books. How convenient. And of course, that's why they talk about things like Planet X, Nabooru, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, spatial alignments bringing about disaster. Because it gets them attention. That's the only reason they need, folks. It's not about truth. It's not about reason. It's not even about their own religious truth. It's about getting attention for the organisation. And it all comes from all of this attention whoring from the leader. I mentioned earlier in this video about the prophecies by Elizabeth, including the zombie apocalypse. So what happens when there's a zombie story in the news? Oh, a mighty wind talk about zombies and a zombie apocalypse. Like so many of the other little crazy cults you find online. 
spreading their own bullshit by attention whoring when and wherever they can. A very strange belief, no doubt. But I could forgive them all of their quirks and mannerisms. I could even forgive Elizabeth, Elijah, Nicomiah for pleading for donations, begging for donations and attention. I could forgive so much of that if they weren't dock dropping people. False flagging, false DMCAing, that's to say a copyright claim. Filing bogus claims against people just so they can get them removed from YouTube, Facebook, or they intimidate family members. You know, I could forgive so much of what they do, and I would forgive them if they stopped doing what they're doing now. If they became peaceful, and we could have peaceful debates on YouTube without people being threatened on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and elsewhere on various forums, then I could forgive what they do. But these people involved in that group, following that prophetess, are acting crazy. So no, I, I will not cut them any slack. Not until they cut the world a bit of slack. Cut people around them some slack. Because to be entirely fair, the way they act is simply not right.